Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. So friends, on this video, we will see how we can add multiple metadata values in SharePoint columns in uh, list as well as in the document library. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's start our today's video demonstration. So friends, before we proceed to our lab environment, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do subscribe and please press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. Okay friends, so now we are on our SharePoint site. With the name of video and here i have one document library let me go to this document library all right so here you can see i have uploaded few uh, documents which are you know type of the videos as well as the documents so here as you can see we have you know the columns the item type and the owner so uh, basically if you will see like if i will click on this drop down menu i cannot add uh, multiple values on this you know column like if I will if I will select this, like uh, this is item type is image. Like if I will click on this details option, here you can see either I can only select the image, or either I can select the video, and the document. So among these three option, I can only go with only the one option. So uh, basically, my end goal over here is to add a multiple metadata value in this particular column. So let's see how we can do that. To add multiple metadata values on this column, you can even you know group by the item type based on it. So uh, like for this particular image, I want uh, two owners like because they both have collaborated in this particular video, they both have made this video. So I want the owner to owner to be added on this particular video. So let's see how we can do that. So initially, if I will, you know, select this video, we can only add a single, you know, owner like Rachit, either I can select Ritika or Jack to add multiple, you know, values of this uh, on this particular column. But I what I need to do, I will just simply select this column. I will go to column settings and I will click on edit. So here, if you will scroll down a little bit, you can select more options. And here you, you have to just toggle this option, allow multiple selections. So once you will toggle this option, now we can click on save. All right. Now on this particular video, Jack and Rachid both have collaborated on this video. So what we need to do, once you will select this video, you have to click on this details pan. And if you will go to all the way to bottom, now we are getting the option to add Jack as well. So once you will add Jack over here and now it's safe, you can see the two owner are now showing up in the front of this video. So basically now we can select the multiple values of this particular document. Now if I will select one more video and uh, all the three of my users have collaborated on this video. So I can just simply select Jack as well as Rachid and I can save it. So now you can see the owner, three owners are showing up on this particular column for this particular video. But uh, when, once you select the multiple videos, if you will notice here, I cannot see the option of group by. However, in this video, you can see we have the option of group by item. So this is the thing when you select the multiple uh, metadata values for a single column you will not see the option of group by item type so friends that's how you can you know add or i could say enable multiple metadata values in the sharepoint column you can similarly perform the same same thing in the sharepoint list as well so friends let's conclude our video demonstration for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos i will see you guys in next video